Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Six Figures Made Simple Masterclass. I am so delighted to be here with you today. And we had over 100 women sign up for this masterclass. And I can't wait to bring this information your way today. I'm going to get rolling in just a minute or two. But to kick things off, I would love to know who is with me today at the masterclass. So please take a moment in the chat. Let me know what is your business and where are you joining us from today? It's really cool that with these masterclasses, I am able to connect with women from all over the world. And I would love to know where you are joining us from today. So take a moment, share in the chat, what is your business? and where you are joining us from. And that'll also help me tailor my examples and some of the presentation to the women who are here live with me. If I know what your business is and the kind of work that you're doing, it helps me give the best examples and the best information. All right, I'm gonna open up the chat so I can see what's going on. We have Elisa. She is founder of Comfort Quest, flipping the pain scale with hope. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Instead of, um, you know, looking at it from a negative place. And she is joining us from Jacksonville, Florida. Very nice. Who else do we have here with us today? We have Daisy, who is a personal brand strategist from France. Oh, how wonderful. I spent a summer in France when I was in college. It was fantastic. And we have Lori here. Hi, Lori. She has her business is Grief with Grace. I work with women who have children in heaven, oh my goodness, to help them shift some of their lower level emotions of grief so they can live their lives in a way that honors their child's life and legacy and find moments of joy in the everyday. And she's from Atlanta, Georgia. Wow, Lori, what amazing work you do. Also, a little side note here, make sure you have your chat set to all panelists and attendees. There's a little drop down in the chat in a blue box, and it's probably a, you know, set up just for all panelists, but make sure you have it checked to all panelists and attendees so that I can see what you write and also everyone else who is here with us today can see it too. Who else do we have here with us? We've got a nice group. So I know that there are more of you. Don't be shy, pop it in the chat. Let me know where you're joining us from, what your business is. We have Asia who is joining us from Canada. She is a coach who helps women start over and live life on their terms. Well, I am all about that, Asia. That's awesome. I love that. Maybe we'll have a couple more and then we'll dive into today's presentation. And I do want to remind you that some of the best ways to get this content really soaked in and integrated into your life and business is to make sure you are joining us in a quiet location, as quiet as can be, and you know, make sure you have privacy. And if you have any kiddos in the house, make sure that they have something to occupy them for as long as possible so that you're really able to be present for the presentation today. Okay, anybody else want to give a little heads up? We've got a nice group here. So if anyone else wants to pop in and just let us know where you're joining us from, what your business is, then we'll get rolling in just a moment. I want to give everyone a chance to get situated. Hope everyone has their worksheet. It was just delivered to you via email. So if you haven't yet, make sure you head on over to your email, download your worksheet so that you can follow along with the presentation today so you don't miss a beat. Okay, if you're just catching us, make sure that you introduce yourself in the chat, let us know what your business is and where you are joining us from. And let's get started. Let's start digging into the presentation. Like I said, we are going to be covering my six figures made simple framework. I'm going to be talking about how you can make 
100K or more, you know, multiple six figures while working flexible feel good hours. And just so everybody knows, my amazing operations director is here with us today. Raven is in the chat too. And she echoes what I was saying about make sure you have your chat set to all panelists and attendees so we can see each other's messages. And also, if you have any specific questions, make sure that you pop them in the chat as we go. Raven will be curating those questions for the end of the presentation. We're going to have a bit of a Q&A at the end to make sure you really understand the framework and you can go out and start using it. And Raven also just put in the chat the link to the worksheet. If you haven't yet downloaded it, you can head on over and grab it now. And the link is in the chat for that. Okay, so I wanna give you a little bit of an overview of the presentation before we move through it, just so you know all the goodness that waits for you. So to kick things off, I'm gonna share a little bit of my background, my story. I know many of you probably have heard it before if you, if you joined this masterclass right from my list. But if you're newer to me, or if you need a refresher, I'm gonna share my background so you know who I am, what I've got going on, and why I'm bringing this presentation to you today. I'm also then going to walk you through my entire framework. I'm actually gonna come on camera and I'm going to draw it out on a whiteboard for you so you can see all the little bits and pieces of it. And this is where you'll want to have your worksheet so that you can follow along and fill it in. And then after you see the whole framework, we're gonna deep dive into two areas that often trip women up. So after you see the whole macro view, we're gonna dive in for some, some tips and strategy in some specific areas of the framework. I'm gonna then share an opportunity to work through the entire framework in more depth and detail. And we'll have a Q&A at the end to cover any questions that you might have. Okay, so we're gonna get rolling here. I can actually start my video now. I'll pop up in the corner. Hello. I'm actually joining you today, not from my home office, but from a workspace nearby. I rented out a, an entire conference room and so that I can have the, the whiteboard behind me and make sure that I will not be disturbed by any little people who like to pop into my office. So let's move to the next slide. So hello, officially welcome to the Six Figures Made Simple Masterclass. I am Kaylin Asher. I'm your host for this presentation. And in order to get the most out of this masterclass, there's a few things I want you to do. I want you to silence all your devices. I want you to close down any other browsers if you're watching on a laptop or a computer so you're not distracted. I want you to close the door to the room that you're in if you're able to do so, or like I do sometimes, go hide in the bathroom if you've got little kids. <laughs> and I would love for you to commit to being present for the next hour so that you can get the most out of this presentation. I promise it'll be worth it. I'm a woman who values her time. I'm not going to waste yours. You are going to really get so much out of seeing this entire framework mapped out for you. And like I said, I'll be drawing it out. I have the, the initial kind of outline of it up there, but I'm gonna be filling in all the details and you can follow along with your worksheet as I do that. So a little bit about me. I am an entrepreneur by heart. I have always been running, creating some kind of business. I actually started my first business when I was probably 13 or 14 years old, and I started a party service company. So my friend and I, we would go in and we would work parties. We would serve, we'd clean up, we'd replenish platters, we'd help take coats, you know, that type of thing. And it was awesome. I would make like 20, 25, $30 an hour when all my other friends were working for like eight bucks an hour at jobs they hated. Now, that's obviously not the industry I stayed in, but it was you know, early proof that I could create something out of nothing and make really good money at it. In terms of actually having a business that I have been looking to build that really serves me, my lifestyle, and my family, I've been a business owner for the last 12 years. And for the last five years, I have been a business coach, helping other women like yourself build profitable, sustainable, scalable businesses that 
function and serve them in the hours that they have available, whether that be, that be 10 hours, 15 hours, 20 hours a week. But the women I work with love the idea of having freedom, freedom of time, financial freedom, and energetic freedom to really pursue the things that they desire. I'm a wife. I've been with my husband since I was a teenager, and we've been together a good long time now. We've got two little girls. My girls are five years old and three years old, and so it's, um, it's a lot of energy, <laughs> and I, I get, I feel for you moms out there who are, you know, without childcare and stuff right now, it's really, really challenging. I'm also a podcast host of the Three Day Work Week podcast. We have over 100 episodes there, so make sure you tune in and listen. If you love today's masterclass, there's tons more content there for you. I have a three day work week right now. If you're watching this, obviously real time, uh, it's in the midst of a pandemic. So that means that my three day work week has gotten a bit jumbled, but the really cool thing is the framework I'm going to be teaching you today allows for that flexibility. It allows you to adapt to the schedule that makes sense for that time, that phase of your life and still run a highly profitable, successful business. So this is a framework that can meet you where you're at, no matter what available time you have right now. And in the lifetime of my business, I have served over 10,000 women with my coaching and trainings. So just know that you are in good hands today. I have your best interest in mind. I've been right where you are looking to build a highly successful business, working flexible, feel good hours. And that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. So let's continue on our journey. So here is the opportunity that is available to you today as you, you know, really sink in and absorb this framework. So, you have the opportunity today to create success in the easiest, most aligned and enjoyable way possible. You have the opportunity to work fewer hours and make more money. Who doesn't like the sound of that? The opportunity to leave behind the hustle mentality and step more into the flow, into your power and serve from that place and run your business from that place. The opportunity to feel focused, on track and clear about what you do, what you want to do and what you don't wanna do any longer. Something that we always talk about with our clients in our high level mastermind is how can we operate in our zones of genius and start to outsource, automate, or eliminate the things that really aren't the true, truest alignment with our true skill set. A few more things here. The opportunity to have a bigger impact and income. I know if you're joining me today, you've got a big vision for your life and your business. You see multiple six, maybe even seven figures. You see serving thousands and thousands of people with your service, with your mission and your message. And you want a clear path to get there. You want to lay the foundation for success. In order to do that, we need to embrace the CEO mindset. We're going to talk more about that today and how exactly to do that. There's an opportunity to move from doing all the things in your business all the time to really designing intentionally the life and business that you want for yourself and the lifestyle that you see living. And of course, you are going to learn how to make over $100,000 while working flexible part-time hours. And so maybe this is your first 100,000 in business. It's gonna be your first six figure year. Maybe this is about adding an additional 100,000 to the revenue you're already creating. But know that the strategies I'm sharing can easily scale your business to six figures and beyond. So share with me now in the chat, if you had a clear plan to create a six figure business, how would life be different? What would shift or change for you? And so take a moment, think about it, whatever that gut reaction is, whatever that gut response is, put that in the chat now. And again, make sure it's set to all panelists and attendees so we can all see your response. So if you had a clear plan to create a six figure business, how would life be different? It looks like Asia said, 
I love your podcast. I just discovered it. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. We've got lots of interviews, lots of episodes there, um, lots of content. Lisa said, to be honest, I think I would feel overwhelmed. Mm, that's really interesting, right? We so, um, we're so indoctrinated by the idea that creating a successful six-figure business is complicated and hard and lots of moving pieces. And I'm so glad you, you shared that and you were just you know, really honest with your response there because that isn't a reaction we get sometimes. It's like, oh my gosh, more success means more time in my business, more energy and more complication. But what I hope that you'll see with the framework I'm showing you today is that it doesn't have to be that way. It can be simple and streamlined and very manageable and tailored to what works for you and your life and your family. I personally am always looking for structure and strategies that are in service of my freedom. That's why I love structure, strategy, organization, all of those things so much because it helps me create more freedom in my life, in my business, in my finances, all of that. And so thank you so much, Lisa, for being honest and saying you feel overwhelmed because I hear you there. And a lot of times it is overwhelming. We're consuming so much information from so many places, so many right ways to build a business. But if you're here today, I'm guessing the way I've built my business resonates with you. That, you know, I've got a multiple six-figure business. I'm working part-time hours. I've got people who I have as team members who support me doing the things that I'm not great at or I don't want to do. And it can be really simple and streamlined. So I think, I think what I'm sharing today will hopefully take that overwhelm away. Joy says, instead of scrambling to figure out how to do things, I would be able to focus on the details. Yes, right? How often are we like, in especially in those early stages before we've totally found like our systems and our rhythm, like, oh, okay, this thing, this person says this thing will work and that person says that thing will work and we're accumulating all this information, all this knowledge. But what we really want is just a simple step-by-step -step plan forward. And so, that's why I'm so excited to share the framework with you today because hopefully you'll see that it can be simple and straightforward. And Asia said, it would be everything. I wouldn't have to do all the things. I'd focus on doing only things I value and love. Yes, I'm seeing a theme here, feeling focused, feeling on track, being able to really hone in on your zone of genius, like I was saying. That's fantastic. I'm so glad that you shared those things with me because you, you ladies are definitely in the right place. We're going to be bringing to light that simple path forward. But first I wanna give you a little before and after. Sort of before in my business, before I relied on the strategies that are tucked inside this framework that I'm gonna be showing you in just a minute. And then after, after I implemented the strategies of framework after I started really stepping into my zone of genius. So before, these are the first, you know, seven or so years of my business. I was jumping around, trying to find where to land, constantly shifting my ideas, and I was struggling. I was a struggling entrepreneur. Um, at the time, I was in my 20s, my early 20s, my mid-20s, so it didn't feel quite as dire to create that success, but I still was so hungry for it and I felt like things were not working. At the time, I was making anywhere from $0 a month to maybe two or $3,000 a month on like a really good month. I never knew what would work and I kept changing my strategies. I kept changing my offers. I kept, you know, tweaking and shifting my ideal clients. I kept repositioning myself. I was distracted by shiny objects. Someone um, you know, who I considered uh, an influencer who had things figured out would host a webinar talking about doing things a certain way and suddenly that was the way I should do things. And then a week later, a month later, I'd hear something else. I was also consuming a lot of courses at this time. I hadn't yet really invested in a high level coach, but I was doing lots of programs and courses and just constantly searching for the right path forward. Because of that, there was a lot of self-doubt because I wasn't giving things enough time to really, to really work out. I was hustling, I was stressed out. My husband and I were living in this, it was really adorable, but it was this tiny little one bedroom, 600 square foot cottage. 
And I had to take on, you know, part-time jobs and little side gigs and stuff to help pay the bills. After I really stepped into the power of this framework, things shifted profoundly. I started showing up first and foremost as a successful business owner. I was able to focus and be clear on what I wanted to create. And a lot of this, this framework is based upon my work with different high level coaches. So this isn't any one of their paths forward, but after my experience and all of their, these are the elements that work for people who are looking to create an abundantly successful business while working part-time hours. I started making six figures, multiple six figures a year. I created reliable systems and processes that deliver results. I created a focused streamlined business instead of bouncing all around. I hired two team members. I feel much more confident. I have a, the mindset of a CEO of being the leader of my business now. I feel much more in the flow. We have a much bigger, nicer house now, five bedroom home in an area that we love. We have two vacation homes that um, are both driving distance so that we're able to escape when we need some downtime. And right now I'm working less than 15 hours a week and my business is more successful than ever before. And I should also add to the before, I was working a lot more hours than I do now. <laughs> so just to give you sort of the, the before and after juxtaposition so you can really see the power that this framework holds and the potential that it holds for you and your business. Okay, so now the moment has arrived for me to draw out the framework for you. So make sure you have your worksheet handy and we will dive into it. All right, I'm gonna stop the screen share and make sure we get this position so you can see the screen here. Just give me a minute to get it all organized for you. Okay. That, does that look good for you ladies? You can see it. Okay. So this is the framework. Let me move the chat so I can see. There. So this is the, the outline of the framework. And each of these pieces overlap and interplay to create that abundantly successful six-figure business while working those flexible feel-good hours. And the first area, the first zone we start in is this top one here. And we focus on priorities. So the reason we start with priorities is because we need to get clear on some foundational things. We need to power up our mindset. We need to simplify our schedule. And we need to set six figure goals. Now let's take a moment to talk more about each of these pieces. So the thing I see very often is that women are excited to start their business and they jump immediately into thinking about their ideal clients, how to market to them and what offer to create. And yes, that is a very important factor and something that is built right into this framework. But that is not where you need to start if you want to build a business that truly aligns with your lifestyle and the success you envision. Where you need to start is with your priorities. How are you thinking and feeling? How are you showing up right now energetically so that you align yourself with the success that you're after? What does your schedule look like? Are you, do you have time to work on your business? Do you know what that time is? Or on the other extreme, if you're 
sort of backed into a corner working so many hours with your clients that you feel like you have no time to grow the business, you need to really start to consider what is that ideal schedule that I desire? How can I start stepping into that and living from that place as I move into this next phase of my business so that you're not letting the business dictate the schedule, but you get to choose what you're creating, what your life looks like, and the business gets to fit inside of that. And then the third priority needs to be what do those goals look like? What are those six figure goals that you have? And how can we make sure they are in alignment with your mindset, your schedule, and the other factors of this framework as we flesh it out? And so I would really encourage you to figure out what is your vision? What is that driving force? And remember your why whenever you're showing up because if our mindset is not in check, it is going to der derail us every step along the way as we move through this framework. Mindset is something that is not one and done. It's a practice, something that we need to keep thinking about, keep addressing. I always encourage all of my clients to develop a mindset practice. It looks different for everyone, but something that anchors you, grounds you, and centers you. Because you are not going to be able to keep expanding into the next best, next best version of yourself if your mindset is constantly nagging at you and saying, this isn't going to work for you. You can't find clients. Who are you to do this work? That type of thing is not going to get you anywhere. We really want you stepping into this CEO mindset where you are the leader of your business. You are clear on who you are, who you serve, and how you show up. The schedule piece is really, really important. Something I often encourage my clients to do is to do a time inventory where you kind of watch yourself essentially for a week and kind of see where you are spending your time. And then you can really know where you have pockets of availability, things that can be condensed or consolidated, where you maybe don't want to be working anymore. Maybe your best energy is in the morning and not in the evening and you find you're often working late into the night. We need to make sure that we start living as we want to be living as we build our business, increase our business, grow our business, otherwise we're not gonna be able to get the res all the results we desire. We might make more money, we might get more clients, but it's going to be at the, the cost of something else. And six-figure goals, the reason we call them six-figure goals is because we really want to start thinking in terms of, of bigger and moving you in the direction of where you want to go. So a six-figure goal is on the leading edge of your comfort zone. It's, it's pushing you to become better, better, to become more, and really setting you up for success. Something that I always teach my clients is to set good, better, best goals so that if you're filling a program and you would love to get 10 people in, maybe that's the best. But good would be five people, better would be seven, and then best would be 10 or something like that. So that you're always giving yourself a spectrum for your success. Because often it's not about landing directly on the number, but kind of massaging your way into a new level. So that is the first category. This is priorities. That's where we need to start. And that's where we start inside all of my programs. And with my mastermind, we spend our first mastermind day, sort of like a one day virtual retreat, working on these items together. Let me move this down so I can see the next piece. The next section is where I see a lot of people jump to. This is people. So in this section, there's a few things we need to look at. We need to look at attracting high-end clients.
And when I say attract high-end clients, this isn't about um, working only with people who pay you lots of money. That's great. But a high-end client for me is really someone who is so well suited for the work that you do. This means you need to know the nuances of your ideal client really, really well. And what I've found is that for many of my clients, your ideal client tends to be you two, three, five years ago, a past version of yourself. So when you start remembering that, remembering what you needed to hear, what you needed to know, what things were helping you most in those early phases, it becomes a lot easier to start attracting those high-end clients. The next piece of this is creating your one signature offer. So this is where this framework really departs from other systems, other methods. What I recommend if you are looking to build a lean, scalable business is that you let one signature offer drive the ship. Yes, maybe there's a couple little like back pocket offers or a small thing that you create, but in general, 80, 90, 95% of your revenue is coming from your one signature offer. And that signature offer should be a high ticket offer that costs at least probably a thousand dollars, if not multiple thousands of dollars, because this enables you to work with just a handful of clients and scale your business very quickly. This is exactly what I did in the early days of my business back in 2016 was my first six figure year. And what I did during that year, after working with a coach who helped me create a simple plan to follow, was I launched one-on-one -on -one coaching in the, the winter, in like February of that year, and then again in October. And between those two launches, I brought in close to six figures. And then I sold a couple smaller programs um, in between and that rounded it out and helped me get over that six figure mark. But during that year, I think the first go around, I launched my coaching and I enrolled eight clients. And then the second time I opened it up, I think I enrolled nine clients. So over that year, I worked with less than 20 clients and I made six figures. And so that is something that I always look at when I'm working with my my ideal clients inside my mastermind especially is what is their one signature offer? How can we leverage that? How can we scale it? Is it priced for profits? Are we really pricing it accurately to, um, to reflect the value of all that is included in it? And so when you start looking at this and realizing, okay, I've got to make sure I'm taking care of my mindset, I need to get my schedule in place, got to set some goals that feel really good, know my clients, and then just sell them one thing. This is how six figures can be made simple. So let's talk about the next piece. This is about connect and close the deal. So in order to close the deal, you really need to master the art of feel good selling. That's a missing piece that I think a lot of programs um, leave off. They, they help you maybe get some goal setting, they help you figure out ideal client, your program maybe, do some marketing, but they don't actually talk about how to close the deal. There's a lot of front end strategies, which we cover here with attracting those high end clients. But when it comes to actually making sales, that's a different conversation. That's about how to have a connection with someone on a sales call or via DM or whatever modality you're using and really have an interaction, a connection that feels good for both of you. How can you invite them into that signature offer in a way that feels authentic and good and gets you hearing yes most of the time so that your conversion rate goes up? Something that has been really remarkable for the members of my mastermind is that they start 
converting more people so they don't actually have to do a huge overhaul of their marketing or their strategy or anything. It's just about improving their sales and maybe up, up leveling their offer a little bit so that instead of closing three out of 10 calls, they're closing five or six out of 10 calls and getting that, those clients and income moving into the business. So we've got our first two, two petals of the framework filled out. And I want to start moving into this third zone. And this is the zone that really takes this framework to the next level. Priorities and people, they cover the groundwork. These are the things that we need to have a strong foundation. And then this third piece is really about stepping it up, getting to that next level in your business. And this is your plan. The first thing we look at here with your plan is your results. What are the numbers? What are the numbers for your business? How, how's that signature offer doing? What's its price point? How are the goals? Are they feeling in alignment? What's your conversion rate when you're closing the deal? What are the results you're experiencing? Because we need to know our numbers in order for the next pieces to start landing for us. And this is where it gets really exciting because here we built a really lean business. We built a lean six figure business. You work with a handful of clients. They pay you beautifully for the work that you do. You're well compensated and you are able to stay light and lean, streamlined, focus on the things you love doing. A lot of the women who join me on webinars like this are interested in, yes, those foundational pieces, making really good money right now, but what's the future look like? What is the plan for moving forward? And that's where we start moving into it here. Map out your evergreen offer. If you are thinking about scaling your business, if you are thinking about leveraging your time and energy and talents, and if you envision long-term, not just a six-figure, but a multiple six or even seven-figure business, you need to start thinking strategically about how to have your signature offer or a version of your signature offer on Evergreen. And in order to move into that place, you need some traction here. You need to see the results that you're getting and then think about, okay, how can we create a container that people can move into at any time that doesn't necessarily have a capacity for the number of people we can serve? And how can we make this enrollment of this evergreen? What are the marketing, the strategies, the funnels? And so, Lisa, I know you said that you thought it would be overwhelming to create a six-figure business. And essentially, you can create a six-figure business with just these first two petals. This is where we start creating the multiple six, leaning towards seven-figure business. When we really know our numbers, when we're looking at them strategically, when we're planning ahead, creating those evergreen offers, and up-leveling, up level to CEO. When you up level to CEO, this means that you're really developing strong team members. And this doesn't mean that you need to hire a team of 10 or 50, but one, two, three people who really get the vision of the business, who understand what you want your schedule to be and your lifestyle to be, to understand your goals and the vision that you have so that you can be that leader, that figurehead of the business and do the things that you love and hand off the rest. When you up level CEO, you have simple systems in your business, things that are automated, like your evergreen offer here. And you are fully aligned with that future you, that best version of yourself, and you act in accordance with her. You're always thinking, okay, how would the next best version of myself handle this? What would she do? What would she think? If you're at, you know, 
If you're making 75,000, you want to be making double that or triple that. How would that woman who's making that much money function? What would she be doing? How would she be showing up? If you've got visions of seven figures, amazing. How would seven figure earner you show up for her team, for her clients, for her community, for her family? Would she have a janky website or would she have, would she invest and get that upgraded website? Those types of things. And the really interesting thing is, is that when you up level to CEO, there's often some new mindset stuff that needs to happen. Maybe your schedule changes a little bit. You have new goals you're setting. Maybe you're opening a new offer and you need to think about new clients and you move through this process again. So this isn't a, the reason this isn't a, a linear start and finish is because there is sort of a cyclical nature to the elements of this framework. And the last thing I want to show you here is how these pieces overlap and come together. So where our priorities and our, our people overlap, we are operating in our purpose. This is where we really feel on purpose because everything we vision for our life and the people we want to help are aligned. It's all feeling good and making sense. Where our people and our plan overlap, this is where we make our profit, right? When the things, the big things we're doing and the offers that we have now are lining up, this is where we make our money. And where our plan, our big vision and our priorities overlap, this is where we are in our power. This is where you're really like crystal clear. You know exactly what business you want, what makes sense for you and your family, and everything is functioning really well. And inside my mastermind, it's this, these overlapping pieces become really, really important for our members. Because a lot of times, the women that we see and work with in that intimate mastermind setting, they have some of these initial pieces figured out. Yeah, there can be some tweaking and fine tuning, but they have, you know, they're starting to make money, they've got clients, things are starting to work, but it's really this final piece. And then these overlapping factors of feeling that they are serving from their purpose, making a beautiful profit and functioning in their power. Those are the things that really attract them. And so these, as we look at this, these are the pieces that we want to consider as you think about your business now and moving forward into the future. Let's see, we have some questions it looks like. Just curious, does this also apply to other types of business owners or only business coaches? That's a great question. This applies to service-based businesses. It's not just business coaches, it's even not just coaches. I've had women who are interior designers and new parent coaches and Facebook ad strategists, web designers, web developers, anyone who has a service. We've also had yoga teachers, Reiki practitioners, acupuncturists, health coaches, um, therapists, speech pathologists, lots of different ladies, lots of different backgrounds, but it is well suited if you have a, a service signature offer. And Joyce is asking, what is an evergreen offer? That's a great question. An evergreen offer is something that is available all the time. It's something that people can buy at any moment. Oftentimes when we are newer in business, we're taught the launch formula where you open up, you fill up your program, you fill up your coaching, and then you close things down. The evergreen offer is if, you know, any day of the week, someone can book a call with you or can go on your website and purchase that offer. So this is, this is the framework in its entirety. And when this is all functioning and working together, that's where you get, this is tiny writing, but that's where you get the six figures made simple. All the pieces are laid out for you. It's a step-by-step-by-step -step -step plan. And it's not something you need to tackle all at once either. This is done over time. And like I said, after you move through some of these pieces, you might need to circle back, especially to mindset. That's why we start with it. It's the cornerstone that kind of gets this whole thing moving. Okay, I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna put the slides back on. Do my screen share again. 
Okay. So now I want to deep dive into two aspects of the framework that I think will really support you right now and give you some actionable takeaways that you can leave this masterclass with. I know, you know, I'm giving you that whole framework. It's really exciting to see the whole framework, but this is stuff that we cover over months inside of our programs. We cover the first two pedals inside our accelerator and we cover all of these things inside our mastermind over you know three four months and so just know that if this is feeling like yeah this is amazing but it's also a lot of information i feel you and that's why i want to give you a deep dive into a couple areas to really give you a takeaway that you can start working on immediately so the first thing i want to talk about which i already spoke about a little bit is the concept of powering up your mindset that step one of priorities and the trick i want to share with you now is to think like the future you i spoke to this a little bit when i was talking about um, the C up leveling to that ceo level because in order to expand into the person we envision becoming that successful business owner who has that beautiful balance between life and work, making that six figures of income or more, we have to start thinking and showing up like her. And so this is a really fun game you can play when you maybe are sitting down at your desk to work. If there is something that you maybe have been resisting, taking action on, maybe it's jumping on a Facebook Live or reaching out to a prospective client, whatever it is, Ask yourself, what would that successful version of me do, that future me three, five years down the line? How would she show up for this? What would she do today? How would she take action on this? And just see what shows up for you. There's going to be sort of an intuitive nudge and answer from within and trust that. Definitely, I know future Kaylin has, in, has a bias toward, towards action. Instead of thinking and waiting and wondering, She's just about, hey, let's show up for this. Let's seize this opportunity and see where it goes. And I would imagine the future you would be inclined to do the same. And so I encourage you, as you leave today, play maybe later today, throughout the rest of the week, with this concept of thinking like the future you and taking action in accordance with the guidance that she gives you. Now, the other piece I want to talk to you about is attracting high-end clients. So this is in the people section. The first step in people is really attracting those high-end clients, getting clear on who they are and what they need from you. And my tip would be, this is something I do each and every time I'm enrolling any of my programs, any of my you know, cohorts for my mastermind, is to create a wish list. And so this wish list is comprised of names of individuals who could potentially be a good fit for that offer. And what I like to do is, for example, if I'm looking to fill 12 spots in my mastermind, I write out at least double that many names, 24, even 36 names, two, three times the amount that I need to fill in the program or want to fill in the program. Because first and foremost, it just reminds me that there are so many individuals out there who could potentially be a good fit. Also, it gives me a list of people to reach out to just to get the ball rolling. And as the enrollment for any of my programs goes along and I start connecting with more individuals or um, you know, maybe having consultation calls, that sort of thing, I can add to the list. And I can also remove names of people who have said that they're not interested. And so this can be sort of this living, breathing document that follows you and guides you throughout your launch period. And it puts you in the driver's seat instead of like hoping from, you know, the universe will send you people, which is always great. I think tapping into that energy is fantastic and, and putting out those good vibes for the right people to find you is amazing. But this just feels like something to do when you are looking to fill your coaching or fill a program or even just get a couple clients write names down on the list, reach out to those names and, and keep track. Like I sent them an email on this date, they responded on this date, they booked a call for that date and then either they become a client or they don't, right? So this is a great 
jumping off point for anyone who is looking to really take control back and feel like you are driving ship during a launch or an enrollment period. So what I would love to hear now is to take a moment and reflect upon what is your number one takeaway from the masterclass so far and share it in the comments. Once we do a bit of sharing, we are going to talk about some ways that you can take action on this framework and also do Q&A at the end. So take a moment, think about what is your number one takeaway and then pop it into the comments so that we can see what everyone is taking home with them from this masterclass today. And I'm gonna grab a sip of water. <laughs> Lori said, my number one takeaway is that having a framework is the key to staying out of overwhelm. That is awesome. Yes, having a clear plan of action takes all the guesswork out of it. So you can just focus. You can just step your way through. Okay, got that, got that. Okay, this area needs a little bit of help and it keeps you, it keeps you aligned with where you truly want to go. Yeah, oh, I'm so glad that that landed for you today. Hopefully you took lots of good notes. <laughs> Joyce said, think like the future you, CEO me to power up my mindset. Yeah, I think that is, and that's a fun one too. Like sometimes building our business can feel so heavy and scary and so many unknowns, but have, having some playful tactics like that where it's just like, hey, what would future me do? How would she show up? Or even silly things like, how would she dress today? <laughs> you know, would she, I mean, I dressed up for you guys <laughs> today, um, put some makeup on and my jumpsuit and stuff. But you know, there's some days where I'm like, yeah, would future me really be like slumming it in her yoga pants again? Or would she like put on some jeans? <laughs> and, and some days it's as simple as, as doing that, of dressing, dressing for success, right? Asia said, Reaching big six figures can be simple and even fun with the right plan in place. Yes, it can be simple and fun. I actually have a client too, that's her motto. She's like, how can I make this fun and simple? And what a beautiful way to move through life if everything you look at, it's like, how can I make my business fun and simple? And that's really what we've tried to build here into this six figures made simple framework is giving, giving our clients and also myself just the clear, basics that you need to to have in place so that everything you want is unlocked for you and that's what this framework can do and i'm so glad that we had so many amazing women show up for the class today and i'm excited to talk a little more about how we can help you through this framework if you're feeling like you needed some support so we work through, I mentioned it earlier, but we work through the entire Six figure, Figures Made Simple framework inside my Uplifted Mastermind. Now this mastermind is best suited for established business owners who are making at least $2,000 a month in their business. They are really ready to step into that role of CEO. They're ready to embrace this like third pedal of the framework. They want to establish reliable systems and scalable processes that carry them to six figures and beyond. They're excited to hire their first or next team members to have that support. They are driven, coachable, and have a big vision for their life and their business. They want to be part of an intimate group of pace-setting women who challenge them, support them, and inspire them and they desire efficiency and freedom and value their time, their lifestyle, and their family. So this mastermind is really a beautiful place to feel supported through the elements of this framework while also being in community with a small group of women who are alongside of you stepping into that role of CEO. So here are some of the things that are included inside the uplifted mastermind. You get four months of coaching with me and my team. We have weekly group calls 
Those group calls take a few different formats. They're either a training call where I'm teaching you a strategy or giving you a look inside my own business, a hot seat call where I'm coaching you and the other members. And then we also have a tech call with my operations director, Raven, who I introduced you to at the top of the master class. She helps you figure out all the operations, the back end stuff that has to be in place. So she's a great one to talk to if you're designing a funnel or those types of strategic elements of your business. And we also have guest coaches who come in, who we have a cash flow coach, a mindset coach, and a copy coach to make sure that everything's feeling really on point for you. We also have private business coaching included inside the mastermind. You get time with me, time with Raven, my operations director, and also one-on-one -on -one time with our guest coaches so that you're able to learn from a diverse group of women so that all the aspects of your mindset and your business are covered and feeling really supported during our time together inside the mastermind. And we have, as I mentioned, those in-house coaches for you. I think having diverse perspectives is really important. I love bringing the, you know, the high level strategy, the big ideas, giving you a look inside my business, but figuring out all the back end operations of the business to make those visions a reality isn't my forte, but it is Raven's. And that's why I love bringing in these other women to support you in your business so that you're not just getting a singular perspective and a singular lens, but this fully encompassed um, supportive container in which to grow your business and step confidently into that CEO role. We also have two virtual retreats. We kick things off with a one day retreat and then midway through we have a two day retreat and that is a great time for us to dive deeper into some of the elements of the framework like I shared. We bring in some guest speakers, we have fun activities so we get to know each other even better. And it's really this wonderful time for us to come together as a community. Also, we have a private member portal. So any replays of calls are housed there. All of the, um, the resources that we curate for you, anything that we wanna make available to you that supports you on your mastermind journey is housed in there. So you can log in 24 seven and get that. We have a private Slack community. If you're unfamiliar with Slack, it's sort of like a Facebook group so that you're able to connect with me, my team, the guest coaches, as well as the other members. And that's a great place to go in and ask for some quick coaching 24 seven or connect with the other members. Just share wins or if you're having a rough day, share that too. And of course, every step along the way, you're not just hearing the strategies that I think you should do in your own business. I'm also peeling back the curtain and sharing what's working in my own business. I share my, a look inside my 50 K launch so that you can see exactly all the steps that I take to have 50 K 75 K launches of my coaching in my business. And I also give you a year by year play by play of how my business has grown and developed. So you can kind of see, okay, this is sort of where I'm at. This is sort of the path Kaylin took. Not that you have to emulate mine exactly, but it gives you a sense and helps you to remember that you are on track for everywhere you want to go. And we also have two special bonuses if you book a call today. I've opened up time slots over the next week to talk with you. If you feel like you are a good fit for the mastermind and everything I'm sharing is exciting to you, we have two bonuses that you get when you enroll in the mastermind. That is my Selling Made Simple workshop. This is an awesome workshop that deep dives into the art of feel-good selling. So if you wanna convert more on sales calls, if you want a step-by-step -step process to follow on those sales calls so you know exactly how to position the offer and sell it successfully, this on-demand workshop is gonna be so, so valuable to you. And we also have a special bonus where you get two extra months of support. This mastermind that um, we're talking about today will be starting in September, wrapping up in December. But when you join um, over the next week, you will get two additional months of support. We'll have a call together in January and at the top of the new year and a call in February to make sure that you're feeling really on track for all of your 2021 goals. So 
All you have to do to book a call, and maybe Raven, if you could pop this into the chat, that would be awesome, is head to kaylinasher.com slash mastermind chat, and you can book a call with me to talk with me. I have openings as soon as tomorrow, and I think through Thursday of next week, so that we can have that time together and really figure out if the mastermind's a good fit for you. These calls are exploratory. This isn't about you committing immediately to the mastermind, but if it's feeling like a good fit, if you're excited by everything I'm sharing, if you love the opportunity to move through this framework with my support, my team's support, and to meet some amazing, successful other women in business, I would encourage you to book a call. We've got a couple spots left, and we would love to have some more amazing women join us. So the next thing I want to share with you are just some introductions to past and current mastermind members who have done awesome things inside the container of the mastermind and thereafter. So this is Amanda. Amanda is an uplifted mastermind member and the founder of Indigo Organizing. She is a certified Khan Mari consultant. She was actually trained by Marie Kondo herself. We were all fangirling about that when she told us. <laughs> She's a mom, a wife, and a sought after speaker. And she was actually recently featured in Philadelphia Style Magazine. She had this beautiful like three page spread, it was amazing. And today, corporations pay for multiple thousands of dollars to speak to their employees about organization. And even though things are virtual right now, she is still landing these amazing speaking gigs. We had so much fun inside the mastermind. She created actually her own framework during the time inside the mastermind. And she's using that now during these um, speaking gigs that she's getting. This is Antoinette. Antoinette is a business coach who was previously working five or more days a week on her business. And often she'd be working really late into the night after her three children were sleeping. After joining the Uplifted Mastermind, she now has a three-day work week and is attracting more clients than ever before who are loving her family first values. She got super clear on her ideal client. She set those healthy boundaries around her schedule and her business is taking off. This is Brandy and Brandy is the founder and CEO of Savvy Clover Coaching. She helps solopreneurs learn the skills they need to build multi six and seven figure businesses. And while Brandy was in the mastermind, she really zeroed in on her ideal client and started hosting these awesome workshops that attracted her right people to her. She started her business so she could leave her full-time healthcare job and be with her family more. And now her business is taking off. I follow Brandy on Instagram and she has so much good stuff going on right now. I actually was just messaging her the other day because I was so impressed with everything she's creating and offering. And this is Carolina. Carolina is a certified life and transformation coach who helps powerful women make alcohol insignificant in their lives. She recently joined Uplifted Mastermind and has since joined, um, since joining, she has quit her full-time job she has signed a book deal with Harper Collins, and she is having 10 consultation calls a week with prospective clients. This girl is on fire. <laughs> she is inspiring all of us, and I am just so thrilled that she is a part of Uplifted because this is precisely the type of woman and the type of energy we love bringing into this group. And so just to recap, so you have a picture of the mastermind, it's really well suited for women who are established business owners making a couple thousand dollars a month and looking to scale to six figures and beyond. They've got that big vision, but right now they're not sure how to get there. They're looking for this sort of thing, this framework, right? This clear path forward. You get those four months of coaching as we move our way through the framework. We've got those weekly group calls. You get private business coaching with me. You get private coaching with all of our in-house coaches, our tech coach, copy coach, life coach, and money coach. We've got two virtual retreats, a private member portal for resources and replays, the private Slack community for 24 seven connection and support. And of course, you always are getting a look inside my business at my 50K launches, my six figure years, how I've developed my team and the scalable systems that we are building. 
And when you book a call today and then join the mastermind thereafter, you will get an on-demand Selling Made Simple workshop to master that art of feel-good selling and those two post-mastermind group coaching calls in January and February of next year so we can continue your mastermind support into the new year. So all you have to do at this moment, if this is feeling good to you, is click the link in the chat. Raven dropped it in there for all of you and book a call to chat with me over the next week and we'll explore if it's a good fit for you. So these calls, like I said, are not pushy sales calls. That is not the method I teach. They're exploratory calls to see if we feel a connection to really suss out if it's a good fit for you and your business right now and, and see if it is the right next step and then move into that together. I'm also very honest, if it's not a good fit, I will let you know that too because I want to make sure I'm curating this group to be really well suited and people who are aligned with this framework. So right now I'm gonna take some time for Q&A. So if you have a question about the framework that you learned today or the mastermind, feel free to drop it in the chat and we'll take some time for Q&A now before we wrap things up. Just gonna pull up my question section. Here's a great question. Okay, is, it, is the mastermind right for me if I am transitioning? Um, from in-person to virtual. Yes, it's actually a really great fit for women who are doing that because we find that women who have had success in person, um, we've had some women who were um, yoga teachers, um, women I'm thinking of specifically, a couple of clients who were acupuncturists and they were working in person. And right now that's not really an option. So they had had, um, some fear around that. Okay, switching my business to a new platform, is this going to be the right path? But this mastermind walks you, like I said, through the framework so you're able to really see how to build this new arm of your business successfully and in a streamlined way. And so our one client who was transitioning from in-person work um, with her acupuncture clients, and also I think she did some Ayurveda stuff, to more online offerings, higher ticket, one-on-one -on -one coaching type stuff, um, still in the same vein. She, um, by the end of the mastermind, she was selling her coaching for, um, I think she started with like $1,500 and then she doubled it and she was selling it to even more clients. So just know that it's totally possible if you were in a place of transition. We do suggest that you have traction in your previous role. So if you know, if you have that in-person business, it needs to be making at least like $2,000 a month before you would think about applying for the mastermind. Also goes for if you're transitioning from like a done for you offer, if you were doing um, websites, but now you're transitioning into um, coaching in some capacity, like either coaching business owners to build their own websites or developing a program or mentoring other um, website designers, that sort of thing. It's also great for making that kind of transition as well. Any other questions? And don't forget when you book your call today, you have um, the opportunity to get those bonuses. Um, those bonuses become available when you enroll in the mastermind, but they're really nice add-ons. Um, and especially the the extra calls into the new year. Instead of having a four month container, you have more like a six month container um, in which you're receiving our coaching and support. So that's really, really awesome. I would encourage you, if you are thinking about the mastermind, get the call book today. I have calls um, over the next week. So we can chat either at the end of this week or next week on um, whatever works with your schedule and we can um, figure out if the mastermind's a good fit. And if you have questions, just pop them into the chat. Make sure you're, um, it's set again to all panelists and attendees so we can see it. All right, here's another question. How many women are in the mastermind and when does it start? Yeah, good questions, right? So the mastermind, we cap the group at 12. Um, we like to keep it intimate. I wanna make sure that I know each and every member, have a sense of them and their business and their goals. And so we keep the group small. Usually um, we have anywhere from 
8 to 12. This time we're on pace probably to have around 10, but we would definitely cap the group at, at 12. So we wouldn't get, um, you know, it's not going to be a group of 50 of you or anything like that. You're going to really know the other members. You're going to get paired with an accountability partner inside the group. And you'll really, you'll really feel seen and heard and receive a lot of individualized coaching. And in terms of the start, our official start is September 9th. We're gonna kick it off with a virtual mastermind day. We're gonna do goal setting together, um, do some mindset work, and I'm going to give you an inside look at my 50K launch. So that'll be a really great time um, to kind of hit the ground running all together and get to know one another. What other questions can I answer for you? Feel free to pop them in the chat. How much, here's one, how much one-on-one -on -one coaching is included? Yeah, so you get two coaching calls with me, two coaching calls with our tech coach, and at least two calls with other visiting guest coaches. So over the four months together, you'll have at least six private sessions one-on-one -on -one with um, both myself and the in-house coaches so that you're able to get that um, both the, the support on the group calls balanced by that one-on-one -on -one support um, with the one-on-one -on -one coaching as well. What other questions can I answer for you ladies? And feel free to ask questions either about the mastermind or the framework if you need any clar clarification about the framework that I shared. Here's another question. Um, let me see. I'm only a year into business. Is this a good fit for me? Well, that really depends. Um, if you are a year into business and you feel like you're, you've worked with, you know, a handful of clients, you're starting to, um, you know, make some consistent money, you're hitting, you know, $2,000 a month, $3,000 a month, and you're just needing a, a system to kind of streamline it, grow it, that could be a really great fit. If you're a year into business, but you feel like you need more of the basics covered and you're not making much money yet, you haven't worked with many clients or you haven't worked with any clients, then you'd probably be a, um, a better fit for our entry level programs, which is like our accelerator. Asia's asking, how much does it cost to join the mastermind? And do I absolutely have to be making 2K a month before I can join? Um, in terms of the cost, that's something that I love, like to discuss on our private calls together, but it is a multiple, um, you know, multiple thousand dollar investment. Um, and in terms of, do you have to be making 2K a month before you can join? Um, that, that would actually be a great thing for us to explore together on a call. So I would encourage you to book the call because then I can answer these questions for you specifically. And um, I, I will say we have accepted members who haven't quite hit that 2K a month mark because they've been laying, um, they have other pieces in place that we know will work really well with the framework. And so I would encourage you, Asia, I'd absolutely love to get on a call with you, discuss all the nuances of your business, really take a look at where you're at, what your revenue is, what your revenue goals are, and see if it's a good match. And so I think that would probably be um, the best step for you at this point. Um, and I'd love the opportunity to get to know you better. So, um, you know, feel free to click, um, click the link in the chat and book that call. You're welcome. Yeah, I, I know sometimes when you see all the, um, all the requirements, it's like, oh, I don't need all of them. And, we share those because we want to make sure that we're curating a group that has a certain vibe and a certain energy, but we're never expecting women to hit like every single note necessarily. And so, um, you know, you very well could be a fantastic fit for the mastermind group. Um, and it would just, you know, take that 
that time together to really feel out our, our connection and if the program's the right fit for you. Joyce says, does the mastermind or even the framework touch on marketing? I have a different business type, but my biggest struggle is getting our name out there. Yes, the framework and the mastermind both talk about marketing and activating your clients. That's up in this section where we were talking about attracting high-end clients. That's where we cover our marketing. And we talk through and discuss different strategies for different clients, but we share what has worked for us and our business, everything from, you know, basic stuff you can do on Facebook to more high level stuff like running challenges or webinars. We, we help you figure out what is the best fit for you and then give some coaching and strategy around there. Um, and if you, and if you wanted more details about that, you said you have a different business type. So I'm wondering if you need a different business model. Um, you know, feel free to put more details in and I can provide um, even more, more feedback that's tailored to you. Yeah, what other questions can I answer? Oh, Joyce says, I'm the director of a chiropractic clinic, by the way. Gotcha. Yeah, I actually have a, a client I'm working with right now who is, um, she's a speech pathologist, but she, she is the director of, um, of, the, um, of the therapy group. And so we're, we're working through a lot of um, ideas for getting her name out there and then also organizing the, the inner workings of the business so that it's really streamlined, so it's easier to manage. What other questions can I answer for you? Happy to, to share more about the mastermind or about the framework, either piece I'm happy to discuss. And we'll hang out for another, no, we'll try to wrap things up by 1.30, 1.30 my time. So another like 10, 15 minutes. I have another question here. Do you, do you cover hiring and team building? Yes, we definitely discuss hiring and team building. That's actually a topic that we're gonna be diving into during our two day virtual retreat that hits about midway through the mastermind and really helping you through the hiring process and figuring out who those right hires are as well so that you can start building your, your small but mighty team around you. We've had um, a lot of women actually hire during the mastermind um, hire their first VA, their first assistant, um, you know, operations managers, those types of things, social media managers, because um, it's a safe container to do it. You get um, real-time feedback from me and my team. We can really support you, help you look at the numbers and figure out if the hiring, um, you know, hiring someone makes sense and what capacity you'd want to hire them in. And um, it also just, you know, as you see your peers, starting to take that step and hire and step into that leader role in their business, it kind of motivates you to do the same. So it's, uh, it's definitely something we cover and something that also just starts to happen naturally when you become part of a group like this. Oh, here's another fun question. Um, who are some of the members that are enrolled in this round? Yeah, so one of them you actually saw already, Carolina, um, who I introduced you to. Here, I'll pull her slide back up. There she is. Carolina is a member of the current round of the Mastermind. She's gonna be starting with us officially um, on September 9th, like I said, and she has had amazing wins already. We had a couple bonus calls um, over the summer for people who joined early, and just through those calls and through the strides she was making in her business already, she, like I said, she quit her full-time job, she signed, a book deal with her dream publisher, and she's having you know ten client um, consultation calls a week with prospective clients. So sh she's like taken off, um, really just so beautifully. I can't wait to continue our work together. We also have um, a woman who is a brand photographer and brand strategist. 
she um, has a really cool business and um, but because the photography side of things has kind of shut down right now she's looking to really grow her online presence um, so I'm excited to work with her we've got another woman who um, was doing a lot of in-person work with like Reiki and acupuncture and those types of things. And she's building an online program that she's looking to enroll people into. And so she had a really, really successful in-person practice and now she's growing that virtual side of things. So that'll be a really fun journey to work through with her. Um, we've got a high level OBM, um, which is an online business manager. Uh, we have a, a woman who's a business coach and um, a business strategist. So we've got a really nice group. We've got about six people who have committed so far. We've got a couple spots still available and, um, you know, we'd love to fill it out with some more amazing women. So it would be really exciting if you feel that, um, that this is speaking to you, that it's, it's calling something to you. If you're like, yeah, I really think that a container like this would help me step into that next level in my business. And, and support you, right, in creating that successful, abundant business while working those flexible feel-good hours. I would absolutely love to explore if it's a good fit. All you have to do is book a call and, um, and we'll chat. The calls are usually anywhere, um, you know, from like 30 to 45 minutes, just so you know, um, in terms of a time commitment. That gives us plenty of time to talk with one another, for me to learn more about you and your business and your goals and for you to get all your questions answered about the mastermind so that you really can um, evaluate if it's the right fit for you. Speaking of which, I'll pull up this final slide again so you can see some of the bullet points about it. What other questions can I answer? Anything else coming up for you as you're either thinking about the mastermind or thinking about the framework? I don't see any more questions coming in. I'll hang out just for a few more minutes in case, because we've still got a nice group of you on the call here. So something that um, I would love to share just from my perspective about being in masterminds is that um, really cool things happen when you're in community with other women who have big visions, big dreams, and are doing cool work in the world. I've been a part of, um, I guess it's been two high level masterminds over the past couple of years that have been um, five figure investments, very um, like the most money I've ever spent on anything. <laughs> but they've been so worth it because you make such amazing connections. And yes, I learned strategy. I learned so much, um, so much really good information about how to up level as a business owner, how to run my team, how to run my business. But above and beyond that, the connections you make with the other members are just invaluable. You meet your business best friends. You really are just part of a group that is, is thinking bigger and doing differently. And, and sometimes that's hard to find, right? I, I know in my own journey, um, even when I started stepping into success, I still felt sort of isolated it was I was working by myself in my office most days you know all, all alone and it's easy for when when things come up obstacles or things don't play out the way you thought to get really down on yourself and get stuck there but when you have a place to turn to and a place to receive coaching and support and community and celebrate <laughs> you know sometimes the things we're celebrating when we have an online business people in like the traditional workforce don't totally get. And it's not a bad thing, it's just a different world. And so it feels really great when, you, um, when you're able to, to share and be accepted and understood without having to explain yourself, um, people just get it. And so I know in my own business, some of the best opportunities I've had, like um, speaking gigs, podcast interviews, um, and amazing clients coming my way have come through um, members and connections that I've made inside those masterminds that I was a part of. So the community aspect is really, really profound. 
And if you've taken courses, if you've been in group programs, if you've been, um, you know, maybe even worked one-on-one -on -one with a coach, a mastermind is a totally different animal. It's really like the next level experience for people who are ready to, to receive it. Um, I'd say most people who enter the mastermind, they have been on that path. It's like they started out taking you know, some small programs and courses, and then maybe some more expensive programs and courses, maybe did a group program, maybe worked with a coach or two, or maybe hired someone specifically for like a certain thing they needed help with in their business. And they're sort of like, what's the next place? Where do I go to from here? How, how do I receive support in a way that truly supports me with where I want to go? And this mastermind is designed specifically for that, for the women who are realizing that the stuff they did to get to this place of their business, all that, you know, like bootstrapping stuff and, and working maybe more hours than you'd want or making some compromises with the types of clients you're working with, those things are able to get you only so far. And then it becomes about, okay, what are the new ways, the new strategies, the new framework <laughs> that I can trust and follow that will take me to the next place. And so I believe that things show up when we need them, that there is an energy bigger than ourselves that is lining things up for us. And so I would say that if you were drawn to this masterclass, if you're still here and listening, if you are feeling those excited butterflies about what I'm sharing about the uplifted mastermind, you very well could be a great fit for it. Even if you're thinking, am I ready? Is this really the right next step? That is how I felt every single time I was about to commit to a mastermind. It was like, whoa, this is, this is big and this is exciting and I'm not sure if I'm quite ready for it. And that's sort of how you know you're ready if you're having those thoughts and feelings. Because if this wasn't well suited for you, this wouldn't be landing at all. It would be like, oh yeah, that's not for me. There would be a clear no. But if there's this excitement, this, um, this expansive uplifting feeling, then, and that's the name of the mastermind, uplifted. If you're feeling that, those excited butterflies, then I would encourage you to act like the future you that we just talked about and do the bold thing, book the call, and let's just see. Because if you don't book the call, you'll never know, right? It might be, honestly, most people, um, to go back to what Asia was saying about the price point, um, that's a conversation I like to have one-on-one -on -one with people. I don't share the price openly, but most everyone I share it with say, oh my gosh, that's so much less expensive than I was expecting. So just to give you some reassurance, if you're thinking like, oh my gosh, this is probably $15,000, it's nowhere near there. <laughs> it's much, much less money. So just know that there is a next step for you and don't say no to yourself before you've even given yourself the possibility of exploring it, right? How often do we do that? We're like, oh, it's probably too expensive. It's probably not right for me. Kaylin will probably think I'm not ready. Whatever it is that you're saying to yourself in your head, you're saying no to you. So, why not instead shift into that next level version of yourself? Take the bold action, book the call. Let's just talk and get to know one another and we'll see if this is the right fit for you. Like I said, it's a very low pressure call or I should really say a no pressure call. It's basically me asking you a bunch of questions about you, your business, your goals, and then giving you the opportunity to do the same with me so that we're able to just see if we're a good fit. And I open up time slots over the next week, um, even open up some time on Friday and Monday, which are days I typically do not work, but I wanted to make sure that there was flexibility and availability in my schedule for all of you because I really want to make sure I'm connecting with those women who are excited and ready and um, inspired by the, this mastermind and the content, the framework that we'll be covering within it. So before we wrap, any final call, calls, any final, we've got calls on the brain, right? Any final questions, anything you are wanting to know before booking a call, this is the time to ask. And um, 
I would absolutely love to chat with some of you. I've had some great back and forth in, in our chat conversations here, and I would love the opportunity to get to know, um, know you more deeply and, and see what the, the right next step is, is for you. And just a reminder about those two special bonuses, they're available only if you book your call either during this call or shortly thereafter. I know if you're like really present and listening, um, we're not going to penalize you for it. But if you book that call, um, you know, shortly after we wrap up, then if you decide to enroll in the mastermind, you'll have those extra bonuses coming your way that are so valuable. Um, the Selling Made Simple workshop, really, it's, we had so many women being like, this is what I've been needing because we outlined my exact process for sales conversations that all you have to do is, you know, you print it out next to your desk, you hit all those notes during your conversation and you're going to hear yes a heck of a lot more of the time. You know, we've had women double, triple their conversion rate. And with the post mastermind group coaching calls, those are amazing because it's going to give us a larger container of time to work together. We're going to be able to continue to support you, make sure you're feeling really on track for all of your goals, all the big visions that you have for 2021, which, you know, it's funny to talk about it now, but it's not going to be that far away by the time the mastermind wraps up in December. And so I would love to give those to you, give you those bonuses. And all you have to do is book that call. Again, the link is right in the chat. Um, so that we can have that time together and make sure that everything's feeling really, really good for you. And if the mastermind's the right next step, we'll get, one of you, get you in and get you one of those final spots. All right, last call for questions. We're gonna be wrapping up in just a minute. Any last things? I've been hearing lots of uh, email alerts, so I'm guessing we've got people booking into those calls. So if you are hoping to grab a call, I would suggest you book it in Soon, sooner rather than later, so you have your pick of time slots um, so that we're able to have that time together. Joyce Roden, thank you. Asia, thank you. Oh, you guys are so welcome. I'm so glad you were here today. It's so fun spending this time with you. I hope the opportunity to talk to many of you on the call and you know, really see if we've got some future uplifted masterminders here today. Lori said, thank you, this is really helpful. You're so welcome, Lori. I'm so glad that you are here today and that we had this opportunity to, to go over the Six Figures Made Simple framework. I hope you took lots of good notes <laughs> so that you have, um, have a path, a plan to follow. And if you want my support, my team's support in moving through this framework over the coming months, you know, we'll start in September, we'll wrap it up in December. Um, imagine how that would feel Dece come December that you have these pieces in place, everything that we talked through here in your business so that you're able to really hit the ground running. I mean, our vision is that you, you make back at least three times your investment while inside the mastermind and then just bigger and better even beyond that. Asia says, thank you so much. This has been extremely helpful. Oh, I'm so glad to hear it. Yeah, book those calls. I wanna talk with you. I would love the opportunity to to see if we're a good fit for the mastermind. It would be so much fun to get to know you better. All right, we'll wrap it here. We'll end this awesome webinar. And if you have any questions after the fact, feel free to send me an email. You can just hit reply to any of the webinar um, announcement emails that came your way and that'll reach my team and we'll be able to address any questions you have thereafter. All right, take care, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you again for making time to be with me here. I really do appreciate it. I know it's not always easy to carve out, I guess it's gonna be what, 90 minutes of time and um, it's awesome to have this time together. All right guys, take care, enjoy, bye.